Hello and welcome to Down the Track. Today I have with me a special guest from Chicago, a diehard India fan, Abrar Aziz. What's what's up, bro? How's it going? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing good. You've been following the World Cup? Of course, man. Heating up, huh? Getting up. Yeah, getting up at 4.30 every day to watch the games. Yeah, in North America, it's really early. The games... Yeah, um, uh, I'm, I'm, an hour, I'm an hour behind you as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how was the how was the game today, man? India versus West Indies. How did you enjoy it? Yeah, good game, good game. Cynical performance again by the boys. I think um, they've uh, they've surpassed my expectations off of them. I thought there'll be a few hiccups here and there. I thought they might start a little bit slow after the IPL, but they've been amazing. They've been perfect. They've they've not like let me down anyway. Maybe the batting a little bit, but overall. They've been great throughout this throughout the tournament. They've they've uh, been they've been clinical. They've been they've been bringing it on. Yeah, they're the only unbeaten team. Uh, but that middle order you touched on the you touched on the batting. That middle order. Do you see it a problem going uh, into the semifinals? Definitely, especially because we've lost Dhawan. Yeah. Definitely, we, we, there is there is a little bit of a there is a little bit of hesitancy over there. As soon as that three those top three go, I just don't see us like. Like uh, being able to put up formidable totals, I was uh, I was expecting a lot more from Vijay Shankar. I'm a big fan of him personally, and you know this. I've I've always yeah. I've always backed him. I'm a big fan of him, but I feel like the World Cup stage is a little bit too much for him right now. Yeah, and he isn't. I feel like he's very sheltered right now. He's I don't see him open up and bat the way he is. Yeah, and he's at a poor IPL also. Like he's he he hasn't uh, he hasn't really performed since being picked as well. So it's a little bit of a concern. And uh, I have a feeling that punch should be tried over there. Definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm still for the fact that he, he, in the longer run, Vijay Shankar is still better than he, sh- he's, he's being portrayed right now. But I think right now, because of the fact that we are, we have a low, uh, we have a middle order crisis, I think punt is just a, it, it's, it's something that can blow up in our faces, or it can just skyrocket and it'll be perfect for us. So it's something. Worth a gamble because it's not it's not working out anywhere right now. Yeah, definitely, it's probably worth the risk. Uh, but tell me about MS Dhoni. We always have this argument. Uh, today again, he took his sweet time. Uh, I I feel that like one of the reasons for Kohli's wicket was because Dhoni was putting pressure by consuming the dot balls. But then in the end, he hit like two, three sixes and he got his strike rate up. But what do you feel like? I know you're a huge fan. So what is your uh, thoughts on Dhoni? I still think Dhoni is. Tony has to be there. Like, there's no two ways about it. No, definitely he has to be there. But what do you like? His approach? Do you, would you still go with this approach? I think so. I think I think he. I think we need a we need a person in the middle who can carry the innings till the 50th over. He shouldn't be relied on to hit those big shots. I think people are around him. Hardik Pandya has to step up. He's been doing well, so there's no problem with that. Sorry, not Hardik Pandya. I mean, Kedar Jadav has to step up a little bit. Yeah. He's not really gotten a lot of opportunity per se. But whatever he's gotten, I haven't seen him like take off. He has to step up, and and maybe with punch coming in, that'll be the best. But that 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 guy Dhoni is our is our guy who takes us to the 50th over. And then the last two three overs, he just he just hits his sixes. He does his thing, and he's got. Uh, I think his strike rate was about 9500 today. Yeah, it was 56 or 60 balls or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was. So I think overall, I think he's doing okay, and uh, invaluable in the field. That amazing catch for Carlos Brathwaite's catch. Yeah. Just, just, and he was he was wrong for it too. He was going towards the leg side, and then he went back. On the, offside. the catch was amazing, but did you notice he let a few buys go to the boundary? Yeah, yeah <laughs> he did. Actually, Look, yeah. I, I'm not going criti- <laughs> to. I'm not going to criticize his keeping too much. But the problem with the batting I have is, if you saw the Afghanistan game, he took the same approach, right? Yeah. Virat Kohli again lost his wicket, and a few middle order batsmen got his, lost their wicket. And that time Hardik Pandya didn't click. Today, a major difference in the innings was Hardik Pandya click. Yeah, Hardik Pandya. So he took the pressure off Dhoni, and uh, then Dhoni hit those boundaries which were crucial in the last over. But it was because of Hardik Pandya, in my opinion. So th- the only thing I have problem with this approach is, is putting pressure on the batsman. If, if one day everyone collapses around him, then I don't think he has the power himself to take it. So I think it's high risk. Better off. I'm not saying to go bla- guns blazing, but at least he should rotate the strike instead of consuming those dot balls. I agree, and I and I think I think he he himself is such a such a experienced cricketer. I think he will be thinking about that as well. Definitely yeah. rotating the strike is one thing that he needs to. Maybe look at a little bit more. Yeah, he's uh, uh, he's hitting the fielders a lot. Just a little bit of small maneuvering around a little bit more. 
in his uh, in his uh, in the way he's setting up maybe will help him for sure uh, definitely and just a word on the bowling they say bowlers win you world uh, tournaments and right now india's bowling is looking like the best bowling attack in the tournament what are your thoughts the best bowling attack we have ever seen you and me we are 90 kids we never seen like you you tweeted about this yeah i tweeted as about kids, it like as kids we we've, we've, we've never we've like we've always had like one or two good bowlers around but we've never had a bowling attack that we can like really proudly show up like be like everyone is performing so well like like puri gets injured shami comes in and performs amazing like yeah. he's been bowling like like so well bumrah's that on on a hat trick like he removed the key key batsman over there yeah. and uh, chahal and kuldeep spinning away as usual yeah. Chahal, I'm actually more impressed by Chahal. He's turning the ball quite a bit, and he's tossing it up yeah. without any worry. He's like, and he, and that a lot of that has to go with Virat Kohli because Virat Kohli is giving him the confidence to do it. Like he, he doesn't care. Virat saying, I have a feeling Virat is telling him. You go for a hundred runs, you get me three wickets. That's all I care. Yeah, about. and pre- I give I'll give Dhoni some credit. Uh, if you saw in the uh, during one of the drinks break today, he uh, he told Chahal to uh, specifically to toss it up to Hetmyer, and yeah. it yeah. worked. Uh, but you yeah, have to hold her sorry you yeah, have to hold her but, uh, but uh, on the fast bowling like you said 90s we, we used to watch bowling 120 115 km per hour now we're seeing 145 toe crushers uh, hurrying the batsman with short balls so how good does that feel oh amazing like i just i i was i was i was looking at the game today and i was like i was so happy with the way like india is enjoying their bowling like when they when they were bowling the slow ball when they were bowling those toe crushing Yorkers, like everyone's like laughing around. Kohli is coming and tapping. Bumra, mm-hmm. Hardik Pandya from Long On is smiling, and and everyone's like so happy. Yeah. And the atmosphere is so amazing. It's just it's just so heartwarming to see as 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 someone who's always uh, not seen great bowling sides in our team. This is just perfect. Like we we are our, our arch rivals uh, <laughs> Pakistan have always had great bowling attacks. Yeah. And for us to probably be a notch above them this, in this World Cup, in my opinion. is is very very pleasing to see. Yeah and I think like uh, yeah, the batting is definitely weak in the middle order but yeah. if you can have a bowling lineup like that it will always help you win matches. They say right bowlers win you games and tournaments. So you win you especially world cup stage because of the pressure and everything. Yeah. You bat first, you score 250, you're always in the game. You're always Even in. Even if it's a batting paradise, you're still in the game. Yeah. You've seen like you've seen amazing teams like England collapse with with towards relatively weaker teams. Uh, that's that's all you need. The World Cup pressure is already starting to kick in, and it's starting to really get really like start. It, it started off a little bit slow. Yeah. World Cup was not not as exciting as we were thinking, but I think now it's it's up and running. The rain stayed away as well, and like when you have ten yeah. teams competing, it's always going to be competitive. So uh, the weather is holding up. That's a good thing. And uh, who do you think are you? Who are your semi finalists now? It's a bit. It's opened up a bit thanks to Sri Lanka beating England and then Pakistan beating New Zealand. So who are your semi finalists? I mean, I think I think uh, India, Australia, New Zealand is almost confirmed. You think so? England will beat. In- that means England will beat India. No, sorry, not sorry, 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 not England. I, I mean, I mean India, Australia, and New Zealand. These are the three confirmed. Yeah. Sorry, no, not England. England's the one that. Uh, <laughs> personally, personally, I would love to see England go out of the World Cup. Yeah. I would want. I would. I don't agree with you, man. They're a high quality <laughs> side. They're a high quality I side. I agree. I agree. Very yeah. really good side. Amazing side. They've been batting well, bowling well. They've had a couple of bad games over the past two, two or three games. They've been a little bit off, but just I don't know, man. I just want, I just want either Pakistan or Bangladesh to make their fourth, fourth spot, yeah. and just make this like a solid. Uh, uh, let the South Asian teams rise, and then like it'll be more, it'll be more competitive. Just imagine if India finishes first, Australia finishes second, New Zealand finishes third, and say Pakistan or Bangladesh finishes fourth. Right? Yeah. So it's like a South Asian uh, one versus four, and then. <laughs> It's the yeah, Australia New Zealand. So there's our tribe will be there, and then there's an our tribe will be there. So that'll be amazing for for the semi-finals of a World Cup. Although I would really not want to lose to Pakistan at that stage. But <laughs> yeah. It would be just be it would just be nice to see that kind of. A I think the only th- the only thing is the danger for England is if they get a similar wicket to what we saw against Pakistan New Zealand, then India will spin a web around them. So but, uh, the, if they get a flat wicket and they play how they like, they need to just change their mindset and play aggressive cricket. If they play that, I think they can beat India. and they can beat new zealand but it depends on the pitch because india like um, if you give india some bowling friendly conditions then they will topple all over you they'll they'll dominate you definitely definitely i think i think if it's bowling friendly if it's spinning india's on top but i have a feeling that i have a feeling that england will be 
it will come out all guns blazing so it will be a really tough game for in- for india i think it will be a solid challenge for them yeah and park uh, uh, pakistan out. bangladesh you never know if they if they win their last two games one of them then uh, in the semi finals they can do anything they're unpredictable right so they yeah. can they can do bangladesh has has the has a more difficult uh, Root, uh, yeah. Group, yeah. Bo last two games because yeah. they have to play India and Pakistan. Yeah. Versus Pakistan has to play Bangladesh and, and Afghanistan. Pakistan, yeah. You never know, Asha. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah. Like they should be able to beat uh, Afghanistan because Afghanistan's batting is a bit weak. It's but just, yeah. Bangladesh, Pakistan might be a knockout, so that will be interesting. And and it's just it's just it's, it'll be nice to see um, see Bangladesh <laughs> maybe make that fourth spot. Because they they they've been playing very good cricket. Like overall, they've they've batted well, they've bowled well. Yeah. Mustafa Mustafa has captained them well. They've fielded well. They've they've looked the side that that has been the most improved side since I've seen them the last World Cup. Yeah. If you have to compare, because like you know India is going to do well. You know Australia is going to do well. You know England, New Zealand's always been doing well for the past several years. But just to see Bangladesh to kind of like always have the minnow tag removed and maybe get that spot for them would be nice to see. Yeah, and uh, Pakistan is Pakistan. They Pakistan. Always continue, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, they, they always uh, come up with a surprise. Yeah, yeah, and like you know, look, they kept Harris Sohail out for so long. He came back and he smashed it. So it, it happens. You never know. Like uh, with Pakistan, on their day, they can beat anyone. They can lose to anybody. So that's the dangerous thing about Pakistan. I told you from the game before the tournament that they are they will be favorites just just because of their unpredictability. Nothing else. Yeah, yeah, and and they are a quality side. Let's let's not get that wrong. They are a very good side. They are they 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 just have to get stick to their basics. Yeah. And like they've been doing for the past two games, if they continue doing that, you never know. And the batsmen are starting to like mentally uh, focus and convert their big uh, like what uh, Babar Azam did. We converted uh, hun- into a hundred, so uh, they need to continue doing that. A little bit more from their openers is openers. probably what their team is expecting because Imam and Pakar both haven't uh, really pulled it off right now. Yeah. I didn't. I don't think anyone has. Uh, any of them has got a big score. Uh, no, 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 no. Ba- Babar Azam has. Uh, Babar Azam is the only guy who scored a hundred. Nobody else yeah. has got close yeah. to that. But uh, and uh, just to wrap up things, uh, a word on Australia and their mental strength and how they're shaping up right now. No, I am. I am mightily impressed by them. I did not think they'd be doing this well. Like just, just for the fact that. They they were coming coming up coming out of a relatively difficult period in their cricket because of their yeah. uh, Warner and Smith incidents and everything. But for them to come back and perform the way they've been performing, for Warner to be consistent, for Smith to have scored those runs, for their bowling to have really really picked up, I think they have their balance right. I have a feeling the first couple of the games they were trying to figure it out, and uh, having bowl, having Jampa and the team over Lyon wasn't uh, making sense to me. But I think with them bringing that in now. And with Berendorf, Stark, Cummins, oh wow! Stark, I think Stark, the uh, the way they've wrapped him in cotton wool for the last four years, that has helped so much because he's got so much rest. He looks like he looks the most lethal bowler in this tournament. I know you have Bumra, you have Amir, you have Shami, but that one spell where he can come and take two, three wickets, it just turns the whole game. And he's already. I ha- I have a feeling he's already bowled the ball of the tournament yeah, yeah. Okay, by getting Stokes out. Peach. I, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, what a ball! What a beautiful ball! Like, yeah. like for anyone to have thought in 2015 that this guy is going to be your leading man in the 2019 World Cup, and to prepare him and take care of him like that, hats off to Cricket Australia. Man. They've they've done a fam- tremendous job of taking care of him. I know we as we in the IPL don't like him too much. We call him a cry baby. <laughs> yeah. Because he always pulls out yeah. last minute or whatever. But. But he's doing it for cricket Australia, and I think yeah. that's the end goal. For him. And that's the thing for Australia; they just want to win, like the biggest tournaments, whether it's a Test series or thing. They want to win, and they'll do anything possible to get that victory. And uh, I think against England, it was all about mental strength. They were just—they uh, knew they had to finish it off. England were a better team on paper, no doubt, but just mentally, Australia are right up there. And uh, they have the players now. Everybody is, like you said, the Stark and the bowlers, and now the batsmen are also. You know, chipping in Warner, uh, Smith is in decent form. Finch is in amazing form. So, the, Just the only the only thing I think if if you like like India to a very small extent maybe, but like India, if you get their top order out, I haven't seen Stoinis and Maxwell really go Maxwell. out completely. Yeah, uh, like they they've 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 perished quite cheaply and uh, like they're given their wicket away. Yeah. I think Maxwell even against England was he got out to a very ordinary kind of a shot yeah. so so probably that's the that's the small weakness but i think they'll and also their fifth bowler i think if they start attacking yeah. stoinis and maxwell then they might have yeah. an issue but yeah. uh, you know australia they, they they're yeah. up for the big but game india and australia are set up perfectly i think i think the same thing with india i think if you 
if you kind of attack hardik pandey and jadhav it's it's similar to stoinis and maxwell over there yeah. because their top four and our top four is almost same like they, they because it's hard to get them away yeah. but like just that this bowler is a little bit of a problem yeah. and that's why i think maybe shankar would have been better but i have a feeling that at number 4 he's not he's not giving us the run so he's not yeah i don't think like, so yeah. so so hopefully we see rishabh pant in the next game and um, uh, your la- um, final predictions too early final predictions Uh, too early, but uh, I'll ca- I'll get uh, India, uh, India. But in the uh, uh, hopefully we'll do uh, top four. You're saying uh, top four. You said uh, New Zealand, Australia, India, and who's your fourth team? So, so I'm gonna go with Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I'm going with Pakistan. I'm going with Pakistan, India, Pakistan semi-final Old Trafford. Don't blame me if India lose though. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, yeah that's all we have for today thank you so much for joining me we'll uh, we'll start we'll catch up uh, very shortly probably after a couple of games and we'll discuss uh, the semis definitely definitely thank you so much it was great chatting with you you too thank you so much and uh, thank you for your input take care all right okay